From the inside, we have Milazar from Mauritius, Albishi from Saudi Arabia, Majkoviak from Poland, Monker, Horton, Schultz, Pettigrew, and Francique on the extreme outside. Men's 400 metre final. Four, five, and six are really the favourites, but Pettigrew in seven was the world champion stand in 1991 up. as they're asked to stand up. So now we'll have a little chance to take you through the whole of the field from lane one in more detail. Eric Milazars had a personal best this year, 44 69. Albishi is the world junior champion in lane two from 2000 semi finalist at the Olympic Games. Machkoviak won a gold medal in the 4x4 at the World Indoors in Lisbon this year. Avard Moncur, 44 45. He missed the Olympic final by one hundredth of a second, and he's got the chance now for. A world championship gold, Gregory Horton in five, three times a bronze medalist at the Olympic Games. Ingo Schultz, the newcomer in lane six from Germany. Antonio Pettigrew from the United States in lane seven, seventh in the Olympic final behind Michael Johnson. The great man is not here, Elaine Francic in lane eight. He's the outsider in the field. Set. Away, good start by Schultz. So from the outside we have Francic, Pettigrew, Schultz has gone away well. Horton's also well away from uh, Jamaica, Moncur, Machkoviak, Alfishi and Milazar on the inside. Machkoviak's been a non-starter. It looks like Schultz trying to take out the race. Horton is in second position with Moncur taking it up. He's really made up the state of the third 100 is the all-important 100 metres here. So Horton in front, but uh, coming hit him on the, on the inside is Moncur. The man from the Bahamas just leads as they turn for home on the outside. Schultz can't come on for the moment. Here's Horton coming on the outside. Gregory Horton can't get Moncur. And Avard Moncur kicks on the inside. Avard Moncur wins for the Bahamas in 44-64. Second Schultz, third Horton. And a great victory from the man from the Bahamas. One of the quickest this year. Wins gold in Edmonton. And I'm sure Horton cannot believe that he's missed out on the gold medal again. He's finished third or fourth, maybe even. Antonio Pettigrew came flew home very home. strongly. And Matkovic stayed in the blocks. He was on the blocks and he didn't go anywhere. McAlbiak. There's Moncur, the new world champion. 44-64. Certainly a lot slower than what we've seen over the last decade with Michael Johnson dominating this event. Very, very close for third. We'll have to wait for the official results, I think. Watch here as we come down into the home straight. Schultz really wound up those that 201 centimetre frame to come home very, very strongly. You can see Horton starting to die. Moncur held it together very, very well. Schultz got second on the outside, Jane. Horton third, just ahead of Antonio Pettigrew. So the official placings in the men's 400. Avard Moncur first, Schultz second, and Horton third. He's a beautiful mover. The man from the Bahamas kicked clear when it mattered and held off the challenge from the big man from Germany. Milazar and Albishi came home following Pettigrew. There we've got Moncur, the new world champion. He won the NCAAs. He was a semi finalist at the Olympic Games. He ran 44 89 to make it through to the final. It's only the second time the Bahamas have won an individual gold medal at these World Championships. Troy Kemp won the high jump in 1995. Their relay teams have been magnificent. But the first time on the track, the first track gold medal for the Bahamas goes to Avard Moncur. So a changing of the guard here in Edmonton. World Championships to Michael Johnson in 93, 95, 97. That world record in Seville two years ago, 43-18. But no Michael Johnson here. It was up for grabs. And Avard Moncur, 22.